First, you take the pin and insert it into the stem. Then you will screw the top nut onto the top plate to hold the pin in place. The top nut should be flush with the top plate. This should permit the pin to move slightly. Now we initiate the force required to buckle the pin. Once the pin is buckled and the pressure has been relieved, it is time to change the pin. Before changing the pin, you will need to isolate the valve from the pressure source. Remove the top nut and the buckled pin. Reseat the piston and replace the pin. Now your system is back up and running. Here notice how the pin starts to bow as the system pressure rises. When the pressure decreases, the pin reverts back to its original shape. This demonstrates the pin's ability to withstand fatigue.